Hi, Mike with Enviroscape LA. It's a historic day for us. Today's October 10th, 2013. And I'm so excited because we just finished. We have, this idea has been cooking in my brain for quite a while. Southern California imports 1.5 billion gallons of water every single day. We're a big desert, so we don't have a lot of water to spend, and uh, the GMO issue has come up. And you know how expensive organic food has gotten uh, uh, as of late? Extremely expensive. What if there was a way that you could grow organic food, you know, or s organic soil or uh, organic food, and you could water it, and you could actually, instead of having the water go, because typically organic garden, you water it, and it, it, it just goes, you never see it again. Wouldn't it be great if you could actually water it and save that water and reclaim it? Wouldn't that be an a, a amazing thing? Well, a virus, at Enviroscape, we've been landscaping, and we've been pond building for over 30 years, and one thing that we found is that it, we, this thing has been cooking in my brain for a long time. If we could combine all of our skills and we could apply it to this idea of organic gardens and saving water, basically, we would have a winner here. And so, uh, this is a little bit of rainwater harvesting, a little bit of pond building, a little bit of landscaping, all together rolled into one. And so I want to share this w with the world today, what we've done here. Uh, we've made water reclamation in organic garden possible, and it's, it's pretty. We haven't quite finished yet, but we did just plug it in, and it's almost like Thomas Edison saying, okay, you know, for the 10,000 first time, Look, we did it. We had a light bulb because this is a lot of trial and error. But let me give you a little tour of what we did here. Okay, uh, what we did was we put, we built a beautiful redwood box. Uh, Louis went ahead and did this, a beautiful box here, and we stained it. And then we put here at, at El Camino College, they actually teach you to grow in rows and use the flood method because salts will come to the top, and salts are a real enemy of seeds. And then you can plant right here, and these things will get really big. Well, we took irrigation uh, bubblers, and we, uh, we're going to flood this. Now, what's unique is that this is going to flood the area. It's going to wick up here. Salt, salt, high salt content is going to come up here. And then what? this right here is pond liner from the pond world. And what's going to happen with this is when water goes to the very bottom, there's actually gravel. And you notice the water that's that's right there, that's actually the water that's watering the plants. So that's what's amazing. Now, this doesn't just go into the earth. If you follow this here, you'll actually see that there is a pro-eco pump down there, and there's an autofill, and we're actually, because uh, this water may experience some evaporation, and if it does, if it does experience evaporation, we've got this autofill here just to make sure that it's always filled. Uh, however, we're, when it rains, we're expecting rain in a month or so, we're going to expect this whole thing to fill up. So just in case in the hot summer months, we're going to have that. We have a pro-eco pump, and the pump actually pumps water up here to the, to the sprinkler system. So you see it's a closed system. So when this, this goes through, the excess water that would normally have just gone back to the earth will actually go into this catch basin and then we'll recycle it for another cycle and another cycle. So it's the world's first recycling organic garden and I'm happy to say it's it's here here at Enviroscape LA. We've, we're proudly, uh, we're gonna cover this in. We're gonna make it look really pretty. We'll do another video once things have grown in. We haven't even planted it yet. We just got done. I just got real excited and decided to make this video. Okay, so this is Mike from Enviroscape signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.